What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, and I am back again on Madden 15 Ultimate Team, looking to finally get some more Elite Pulls. I've only gotten two in the entire time that I've been playing so far, Jordan Cameron and Joe Staley, and I want a third, damn it. So I'm trying to pull some packs today. What I would really, really love is if I got this Football Outsiders Darrell Revis that's in packs for 24 hours today. Uh, it's, it's late at night, so hopefully I'm able to still pull it. Uh, I think that I still can because I think that uh, it went up at like 11 o'clock or something like that my time. So I should still have a good like six, seven hours here. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording this video late. I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> I'm a night owl. I have a, I have an infant. She's up all night. What are you going to do? So anyways, guys, we are going to try and open up a pack here, or a, a few packs anyway. I'm actually going to do a bundle here, I believe. So uh, let's see here. We're going to open up a 15 pro pack bundle, see what kind of stuff that we can pull today. Like I said, really hoping for that Darrell Revis. I know there's a couple legends out there. Uh, Derek Brooks, man, that card looks absolutely amazing. I would probably just be blown away and just beyond excited if I could get that thing but really just any elite like something come on Madden please hook me up for once I've bought so many packs and I just haven't gotten a damn thing in forever so let's try to make this stuff happen guys let's hop in and purchase this bundle 15 pack bundle and let's go first pack Zach Minter Tom Crabtree Spencer Lanning What's going to be our goal? Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes actually had a pretty damn beastly card last year, but um, I don't really think he's much of anything this year, unfortunately. So, first pack, pretty much a bust, unfortunately. Second pack, I love this guy's picture, by the way. I, I don't know why, it just cracks me up. Brandon Smith, he just looks ridiculous. Uh, okay, Chandler Jones, there we go. That's actually a pretty decent pull there. I don't know that he goes for a ton, but I know that he's actually a decent player. So let's see what he looks like in comparison to my other right ends. Of course, I've got Jadavion Clowney, so it's going to be tough for him to replace him with that 87 speed and 93 power move. But uh, 77 speed, 92 power move, but he also has a little bit better in block shedding, a little bit better in strength, a little bit better in acceleration. Uh, I'm probably still going to stick with the Clowney, but at least the Chandler Jones is pretty decent. Uh, so maybe he's worth a little bit and I can maybe sell him on the auction block. That would be nice. Third pack, Kyle Van Noy. Come on, Tracy Porter. Come on, damn it. Need to get something of value here. Come on. Absolute garbage, guys. <laughs> I'm just getting absolute garbage. That's a pretty cool looking card, Marquise Lee. All right. That football outsiders. That actually kind of scared me for a second there. Um, just a, a collectible, but uh, okay, Chris Long at left end. Let's see what he looks like in comparison to my left ends. Uh, right now I've got Ninkovich, so he's faster, stronger, with better power move and better finesse move too, and better block shedding. So I don't really understand what Ninkovich is better at. Okay, I guess tackling, I guess. But yeah, so this is definitely gonna be promoted to my starter. So there we go, our first promoted to starter, at least, uh, comes from that. Uh, I don't know what this goes for. I think I can, yeah, I can auction this. So um, the Matt Forte team of the week, not exactly sure, like I said, what that goes for. Probably at least a decent amount, enough to probably uh, at least come close to paying for the pack. So uh, that's not too bad then. Come on, come on guys. And gold card, Ryan Clark. I'm just getting absolutely nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Come on. Come on, guys. You got to hope with me here. Hope and pray. Come on. Marcus Colston. Well, you know what? Marcus Colston, I think, might actually be possibly my best receiver. He's definitely going to be somebody that I can use. I know that. Uh, let's compare him against my other receivers here. Yeah, I've got Marquise Goodwin, who I actually purchased because of that 96 speed, and I love to use him on screen passes. Um, but yeah, look at Colston against some of these other guys. The six foot four is really nice with Colston. I've always loved the fact that he's so big and, and uh, difficult to defend. As far as like you know, you put your five foot nine cornerback against him. Good luck trying to defend any sort of fade or anything like that. 95 release as well. So if they try and press off of him, he's going to do a great job. 96 catch in traffic. So. Yeah, this is actually a pretty nice card. He'll probably replace my Keenan Allen in my lineup. 
Uh, Marquise Goodwin will probably move to the wide receiver two spot. Uh, but all right, so that's at least a decent pull. Uh, I don't think any of the rest of these are worth much. Guys, if you see a silver card or anything like that that I'm missing, uh, let me know because uh, sometimes it's hard for me to remember which ones go for anything decent as we get that Carson Palmer. It's just not worth a whole lot at this point. Still having such a tough time getting anything of much value in these packs, dude. It's like, it's just been so brutal. Oh my gosh, that blue scared the hell out of me. But at least we get a decent rising star card here. Jace Amaro, um, he's been doing pretty well this year. He's looking like a pretty good player. I mean, like they said in the, on the card, a rising star. I mean, that's that's a pretty good definition of him. He's got 86 speed. Um, if I remember correctly, this, this card actually is a pretty decent upgrade um, when you move him or when you actually do the, the set and get the elite card. Um, so, yeah, I definitely like that. Uh, we'll definitely uh, think about a good way of utilizing him. If I pull another one of these, I'll definitely do the set. Um, even if I don't pull another one, I might. But I do like my current tight ends, though. I've got Jordan Cameron and uh, Jared Cook. And Jared Cook is an absolute beast because of that speed. So uh, it's going to be tough for me to replace him. Oh, gosh. I, I can't believe how many just, like, garbage gold cards that I get. Like, that is just ridiculous. Come on. You gotta give me something, guys. You gotta give me something, EA. Come on. You, s you don't realize these packs are going on to YouTube, so you better hook me up, damn it. Otherwise, people are gonna be pissed off. They're not gonna wanna buy packs. I love Shane Vereen, one of my favorite players in the NFL, but he's kinda ass for this game. Let's be real. Come on. Oh my goodness. The garbage that I get in these packs, man. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. At least I'm getting a, a decent amount of, like, you know, jerseys and playbooks and stadiums and that kind of stuff. So hopefully I'm able to at least do a set or two here um, and, and get something out of those. Okay, Joe Flacco, Team of the Week. There we go. That is the first decent pull that I've had of this entire bundle. So, oh, man. It's been rough, but I do know that this Joe Flacco at least goes for a little bit, so that's nice. Um, he's got some nice attributes too. Obviously, you, you obviously you'd think Joe Flacco is going to have the amazing uh, throw power, and he definitely does. So uh, that's definitely a good thing. Definitely a fan of that card. That's like I said, the best pull that I've had. So I can't really complain about it. All right, there we go. And I don't know how many more packs that I've got left. I haven't been keeping track. Rob Hausler is our card. And right out of the pack just absolute booty absolute booty come on come on guys we're getting close here to the end Kendrick Lewis garbage 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 Michael Smith of course I get a card that's not even on an NFL team come on and Bruce Irvin and a certificate of authenticity Okay, so, I mean, I don't know what the certificate of, of authenticity I can do a whole lot with, um, but I know uh, people have said you can't, you can't auction those, unfortunately. Bruce Irvin, by the way, this is actually a pretty decent card here, too. Uh, 90 speed. 90 speed at linebacker, so uh, that's pretty nice. You definitely cannot complain about that. Um, he's a really, really solid pass rusher, so... Uh, definitely a big fan of those attributes and uh, he might find a way onto my team at some point I'm not for certain if he's going to but let's see here I want to see what he has for some of his like let's see here yeah his power moves there it is 93 power moves so 93 power move along with 90 speed yeah he's gonna be a beastly pass rusher if I put him in on those pass rushing downs so I'll probably end up keeping that Bruce Bruce Irvin and uh, mixing him into my lineup at some point but I think that is about going to do it for the packs guys yeah I don't I don't think I have anything remaining unless I messed up here Let's go take a look and just make sure yep so all in all I don't know I, I just continue to not really have much by the way I'm almost to a thousand items in my binder now so I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff but um yeah it's it's so frustrating when you just open up pack after pack after pack after pack after pack after pack and I get nothing I get nothing of value man like just no elites and it's just been so brutal lately but 
Uh, the head-to-head -head season stuff is going to continue. I'm going to see what I can do here as far as improving my team from this pack opening. Um, I really just want to get to like an 85 overall. I can't believe how hard it's been for me to even just get to that. But when you just don't get anything in any packs for like a month at this point, I guess I can't really complain too much because I did get uh, Collectible and I got a Joe Flacco and... Um, I don't know, I got a couple okay things in this pack opening, but like, you know, considering how much I'm spending on it, come on, I'd hope that I would get like two or three decent cards that I can at least use on my team, but I really didn't really get much. Most of my gold cards were like 75 overall, but you know, it is what it is at this point. Madden 15, it, uh, it's a lot harder to pull anything decent, which I like to some extent because... I don't like when everybody has like a 99 overall team, but I would really appreciate them making it a little bit easier to pull some decent cards at least. I'm not asking to pull the Peyton Mannings and the uh, the Richard Shermans and, you know, cards like that. I just want like, I mean, like a, Ka a Colin Kaepernick would be nice or like a, a mobile quarterback of some sort or, um, you know, like a decent cornerback would be amazing. But yeah, it's just been, it's been really tough up for me at this point. So... We're going to continue to try and grind, guys, but it really is a grind at this point as far as these packs go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to press the like button if you guys enjoy watching these pack openings. I know, I, I wish I could tell you that I was getting better pulls for better reactions or anything, but, you know, if you don't pull anything, it's hard to really have a big reaction. You know, it is what it is, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button because we've got a ton of Madden 15 content. I do fantasy football stuff too if you're new to the channel. Um, and, uh, we, you know, I put out a video probably five to seven videos a week. So try and keep in, in, in on top of it by uh, adding me to your subscription box. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.